<laughs> so today I got the opportunity to wrap gift bags for 300 orphans in the Iwate Prefecture. Um, these children will now get um, a gift bag with, um, you know, some pencils and pens and uh, candies and uh, a card from a student uh, at the Shibuya Middle School uh, written to them basically to give them hope. Um, so this is just one of the various projects that's going on in Tokyo um, that's being taken up north. And um, this is one of the uh, local organizations. And uh, a lot of people are asking, well, how can they help Japan and why can't they send things? Well, if you send something here, it's really inefficient and um, it costs a lot of money to mail stuff here. And we already have the stuff, so it's just getting it up there. It's 300 miles away and there's a gas shortage and, you know, it costs money. It's expensive. I mean, if we were to rent a car here, it's $100 a day. Um, so, Donating money um, to like the International Red Cross is, is great. Um, however, that covers the entire world. It doesn't cover Japan necessarily, and funds are not always allocated that way. So, if you want to do, donate money, um, donate to the uh, Japan Red Cross, or like uh, Second Harvest Japan, or Hands On Tokyo, or Peace Boat, or some of the other um, organizations that are. Uh, sending people up to basically volunteer their time and whatnot to um, help these displaced people and um, either give them a home or, or dig their, their home out of the mud or uh, you know whatever we can do for them at this point. And, um, you know, every time someone goes up there uh, on like a week-long mission to assess uh, the damage, they're also assessing the needs of the people. So. Um, Every time, uh, you know, there's kind of like a report sent back of what people are needing as far as like toothbrushes and essentials and whatnot. And um, then uh, basically each organization gets a list of uh, the needs. Uh, so they go out and they have to purchase those things. And they need money to do that. And we appreciate all of your donations and hope that you can... Um, help us out in the future. Um, I will keep updating my different volunteer activities that I am taking part in and hope to share more of them with you. Um, it's really nice to get together with a group of people that I don't know and, and work on something for um, the common good of others and then leave and not really um, expect anything. Um, except for that I finished what I came to do. I'm just going to try and figure it out. Thank you. Nice meeting you and working with you. Yeah, yes.